Alright guys, in this video, let us see how to delete documents from a collection. Now, the first thing is, as usual, tv.employees.find.pretty. Now, we have eight documents from employee number one to employee number eight. Now, let us see how to delete a particular document. So, let us say employee number two. Now, the command to delete a document is db.employee the collection name dot remove and now remove takes a selection criteria as a parameter so we are going to be using the object ID which is unique as a selection criteria we copy that and paste it so we have selected the object ID for employee number two and when we execute the command it says removed one so one document has been removed now when we go back to find we see that employee number one and then employee number three employee number two has been deleted now the remove command also takes an optional second parameter called just one flag so when this is set to one it means that delete only one document irrespective of how many documents are matching the selection criteria for example let us say we have um, we want to delete everyone who has a skill in mongodb all employees so the selection criteria is skill is mongodb now we have a total of employee number one mongodb employee number six mongodb and employee number seven mongodb now when we run this control shift enter only one document is removed because of the just one flag so if you go back to find we see that employee number one has been deleted which was the first document to match this criteria now document number six and document number seven however with mongodb skill still remain in the collection now if we go ahead and remove the just one flag and execute control shift enter so we have removed two more documents from the collection now when we go back to find we see the document number five is present and document number eight is present document number six and seven which had a skill in mongodb are now deleted now that's how you go about delete, deleting documents. You use the remove command and you specify a selection criteria and an optional just one flag. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.